Nancy Ray here, and today we're going to be looking at the Anim All add-on. And um, if you follow the directions that I have posted on the uh, tutorial, you should be able to get there okay. Um, what we're doing now, we're going to use the preferences, and we're choosing the Anim All add-on. And then we're going to create a plane. And then you want to subdivide that plane. Right, at least three times. Then in edit mode, we want to unwrap it. So we're just today, we're, for this, we're just going to do a smart UV unwrap for this. And as you can see, we're in the properties panel window over here. And then we're going to create a material. And then we're going to uh, create a texture. For the texture image, find something that works for you. Okay, now in order to see it in your viewport, what you have to do is click the materials button in there, which we did in the viewport shading. And now you can see it. I don't really care if it's in a proper position right now because I'm going to be animating it. What I really want to do is show you how to do the points. So as you can see over here in the edge, when I selected it, the Anim All add-on is in the toolbar right there. So I set my first keyframe. And then I clicked Insert Key, which is above there. Um, and then I just decided arbitrarily to make it 130 frames. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, just collect points and add them. Remember, when you're doing this, you always want to move the keyframe slider first, then select what you want to animate. All right, for this one, I'm just selecting Scale. I'm just making sure the points do not overlap. However, I will purposely have some points overlapping so you can see what happens and how to fix it. Okay, again, repeat the process. Move your keyframe forward, however many um, frames you want, five, ten, and select your points and then gently move them. Again, be careful your points do not overlap. Okay, here I'm kind of making a smile a little bit, just goofing around a bit here and there, adjusting things for lips. Okay. This actually started because I started seeing that uh, when you make videos on YouTube, because I have a YouTube channel that I just started called Kyoshi Ray, and so many things have uh, copyright problems, <laughs> even chips. I went to Jiffy.com, and in Jiffy.com, we have copyright issues. So I decided, well, for my own little videos, I'll just come into Blender and make, you know, cute little animations. So I just thought I'd show you here in this tutorial how to do the Blender add-on and them all. And I'm going to uh, select all these and just kind of, again, just using the S key to shrink it down. And uh, hitting the insert key and then fiddling with it. I'm going to have to adjust my screen cap program, that is for sure. Because not everything came. Hopefully you guys can find it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test it. So you have to enter object mode first. And uh, there you go. You can see in the upper right, you see that? I do have uh, overlap. Now that I did on purpose so we could repair it. So you guys could see how to fix it. It's always good to see how to fix things. So right now I'm looking for the points, I'm testing things, seeing where things are. Okay. Now I want to select the paint. What I want to do right now is I want to rotate the plane itself. All right. So what I'm going to do is selecting the plane and I'm going to the property windows again and I just want to rotate it. So I'm uh, setting my keyframes up. I set the initial keyframe up at 1, and then I slid the slider over to 130, and then went to the rotation, and then just put 360 in. And again, went to object mode and hit play to kind of test it. And now I'm going to remove the points. Um, go to the edit mode, and just find out where are those nasty little points. As you can tell, I'm removing them. My cat wants to always kind of 
get on the computer right at the time I'm doing something like this. You probably heard him begging in the background to get on. Okay, so I'm adjusting the points here. I'm going to object mode, clicking my, uh, doing another test for the animation. There we go. How about it? We saw that it's gone. So if you can see here, you can make some kind of funny little things if you want. It's just an interesting little thing that you can uh, use as an add-on in Blender. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. We'll be having more tutorials in the future. Thank you very much.